Jackson CDX Concord. This is the original Concord shape. Randy Rhodes guitar. Um, these just came out uh, for 2020. They're Indonesian made. I believe this is an altered body. What really struck me about it when I picked it up off the wall at Guitar Center was the, the neck shape. It's very much the uh, classic shape and feel of all the Jackson necks you'll ever know, like uh, the Soloist or any of those. It's a little smaller than, say, my um, Model 6 that I have from years ago. But uh, the feel and the profile is exact and uh, very comfortable, you know, and obviously super fast playing guitar. And, uh, of course, the Randy Rhodes original shape has been altered a little bit on this, which is kind of cool, actually. The original, a lot of you probably know, the original came up almost to the 12th fret, all the wood. So when Randy would go up to do high stuff, he'd be kind of um, having trouble there. So what they did was... They obviously attached it lower, but also put a contour here, which uh, you can see on that one shot. Uh, that really makes it comfortable to get up high. And, of course, it's way, you know, way different in the uh, connection point at the neck. So, that's awesome. The Jackson humbuckers that come with it are great. And the uh, standard trim is, um, I think they have both options, a Floyd and a standard trim. But the standard trim has, you can't see it locking keys on the back so that's kind of a nice feature too and um, I really like this white it's pretty cool and uh, it really stood out to me at the store um, a few years ago a number of years ago now I spent a day with uh, Grover Jackson the legend talking about the original Concord and spent actually three day, three hours with him uh, talking about all the things he'd done specifically though the uh, Concord and um, so I've always been kind of a big fan of this guitar, and of course Randy Rhodes was, you know, constantly in my playlist when I was younger. So it's awesome to finally have the uh, Concord in the shape that Randy had it in. I do have a JS32 over there that I bought, which blew me away in quality standards for such an inexpensive guitar. Like I said, this was $699 or $750, somewhere in there, and the JS32 was like $300 or less, and uh, it blew me away when I first got it because I couldn't believe they could make a guitar that nice for that kind of money and not only that it, I didn't even think it was that inexpensive when I saw it because the way it looks but uh, Jackson does some great jobs on their imports that goes way back to the Japanese days when they did uh, the Charvel Jacksons uh, the Model 6's, Model 4's, all those um, Grover had a shop there that he spent two years on um, and got their quality standards up to where he wanted them and of course we know how good those guitars that came out of Japan were and the Indonesian guitars and uh, the Chinese guitars that, that they're putting out play incredibly and for a beginner it's just amazing that you could get something like that for that kind of price so this is the CDX let me know if you have any questions subscribe to the channel and uh, I'm gonna check out the JS32 in the next video and you can check that out as well great guitars Great, you know, for the money and a fantastic uh, history. Rock on.